joined by head coach Amy Zombeck after the Beacons 5-2 semifinal victory over Eastern Connecticut State. Coach, your third trip to the Little East Conference Finals in five years. Um, this is your 10th year coaching this team. It's come a long way in 10 years. Could you have ever imagined uh, this kind of success this quickly? Uh, a fantastic senior class and a big comeback against one of the top defensive teams in the Little East. You know, it's a group that you never know what you're going to get. Uh, the senior class has led us um, this year in they knew they didn't want to end their careers and the underclassmen, the emotion today, it's the best I've ever seen um, this season at least. And we're ready to move to the next challenge. You went, you had four different goal scorers. Uh, your starters played the first 55 minutes and showed the most complete game. I think that a lot of Beacons fans have seen them play in over a month, maybe all season long. What can you say about the resolve today after giving up a, a flute goal early on? Elisa Brooks, one of your most consistent players all season long, and to pick Brooks up um, and to come away with such a big victory. First, I wouldn't say it was a flute goal. Emily works hard. That's how she scored her goals against Plymouth on Tuesday. And she's just a hardworking forward that has a great future ahead of her. Um, we made a defensive mistake, but we didn't put our heads down and you know, we actually picked ourselves up, and I thought we created then the flow of the play after that goal to give us the opportunity um, to get the PK and then to get some more set pieces and opportunities. Three of the players who don't show up in the uh, score sheet, uh, Sam Bendick, Cassandra Levesque, and Natasha Stebor, all, at least in my opinion, had phenomenal games, but it doesn't necessarily show. What can you say about... Bendick and Levesque playing in different roles, and, and Stebor really seemed to be a, a dominant force in the midfield, helping out some of the players who were a bit more established. You know, we prepared them um, the best we thought we could to put us in a good situation. They really stepped up in regards to, you know, their new roles, and without their, um, without them, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Uh, Natasha really came on offensively for us, created some good things. She was a ball winner today. Um, but overall, like you said, it's the most complete game I think I've seen us play, and especially with the weather conditions. The weather conditions really played a factor, and it made a difference. And final question, Coach. Last year, uh, it was a difficult 1-0 loss. It was a, a loss where you thought you had your chances and you couldn't come away. How much this this alleviate those demons um, beating a, a team that's very similar they're just so strong they're a complete team and today you have the better side you know it's you can never get rid of those you learn from them and that's what this group did um, they didn't want to leave that bitter taste that they had last year um, the biggest thing is we told them when you come off the field if we were to ask you did you leave it all on the field make sure you can answer that question yes and today they left it on the field and you know, it's exciting thinking about tomorrow. Um, we look forward to seeing who the opponent is, and it's going to be a great championship game. Thanks so much. The Beacons will play on Saturday in the Little East Conference championship game. Check back on beaconsathletics.com for the time and place and opponent.